Hello, this is Richa Vedya with Dina Kleiman from Technical Support. In this video, we will explore the manual installation of the Quest Server Agent on Unix and Linux. First, a quick overview of Space Manager. Space Manager has four main components. The Space Manager client is a graphic user interface designed to let you easily and efficiently manage space in Oracle databases. The Space Manager server components, which include objects, views, and packages, which together comprise the Space Manager repository. The Quest Server Agent QSA and the Space Manager uses to run reorganization, repair, and collect statistics. And the demonstration data, which includes sample objects and table spaces, which can be used to learn how Space Manager detects and resolve problems. As we mentioned earlier, the QSA is a script execution engine that Space Manager uses to run reorganization, repair, and statistics collection scripts from the database server on a scheduled basis. The agent must be used to run live reorganization scripts and scripts that use fast copy, FS copy, or parallel agent processes. Scripts are automatically run by the agent when they are scheduled and stored in the Space Manager repository. You should install QSA from the GUI whenever possible. If this is not possible, for example, your client PC cannot use SSH to connect to the database server, then you will need to manually transfer a file to the database server and then run a shell script on the Unix database server. This is what we call a manual installation of QSA. Whereas Space Manager, the client, can be installed on any supported version of Oracle regardless of the operating system. The agent has to be compiled separately for every database server operating system, which is why the agent only supports a subset of all certified database servers. Quest Server Agent is compiled for these following database server operating systems. Quest Server Agent supports Oracle 9.2 and later. Prior to installing QSA, you will need to know three things. Operating System, Operating System Version, Oracle Version. The operating system version can be found with the Unix command uname-a. To find Oracle version, log on to the database using SQL plus and use the following commands. The binaries required for manual QSA install are located on your client machine in this location. These files are copied to your client machine as a part of your initial client install. You can locate the appropriate files by matching the file name to your OS and Oracle versions. You do not need to find an exact match to your operating system. All you need to do is locate the highest operating system version that is less than or equal to the actual operating system version you are using. Once you know how to identify your QSA executable, follow these steps to install. Login into your client server where you installed Space Manager. FTP the appropriate binary to your Unix or Linux server where QSA binaries are to be installed. Log on to the server as the Oracle user and uncompress the file. Extract the file. You will see the install.sh in your current directory. It is important that you execute install.sh as the Oracle user. If you do not have access to the Oracle user, stop here and contact your system administrator for the logon information. Execute install.sh and follow the prime prompts. At the Oracle SID prompt, enter the SID for the target database. At the Oracle Home prompt, Give the path to the Oracle home directory for the target database. Login into the Oracle as the DBA chosen to install the agent. Specify an account under which the agent should run. After you log in into the operating system, one of the two messages might appear. Environment not supported cannot proceed or environment not supported can proceed. Environment not supported cannot proceed. This means that both your Oracle version and operating system versions are not supported. The agent cannot be installed. Environment not supported can proceed. Either your Oracle version or operating system version is not supported. In most cases, a supported version of Oracle is being run on an unsupported operating system version. Although you can proceed with the installation, you might run into some problems. If you see either of these messages, refer to the install guide, chapter system requirements. If this is a first time installation, specify the base install directory. The default is Oracle Home. After you specify the base install directory, uh, following will be added to the directory path. To begin the agent installation or upgrade, enter Y at the proceed prompt. From the QSA parameters window, specify agent parameter values for the target database. You must enter values for the following parameters, workdir and LW table space. If you would like to install, instruct QSA to restart automatically after a server restart, perform the following steps. Login into Unix or Linux as root, 
Use the following command to change to the agent installation directory. Run the root.sh script. We hope you have enjoyed this presentation. Have a wonderful day and check out our other SharePlex videos. Thank you.